Before we start with the story of Yip Man, we would like to show you a brief insight into the history of Wing Chun. In China, about 200 years ago, a Shaolin master named Nick Miu developed a new martial art. Nick Miu's system aimed to defeat the opponent with method instead of force. The newly developed martial arts system got the name of Nick Miu's best student, Wing Chun, which means beautiful spring. When Nick Miu decided to move on, she told Wing Chun to find a worthy successor and to teach only the right students. According to this principle, the martial arts has been transmitted to this day. In 1906, Grandmaster Yip Man learned Wing Chun from Chan Wa Shun, and after that Yip Man has unified Wing Chun Quan in all his techniques. Now we can start with the actual story of Yip Man. At the age of 12, Yip Man started learning Wing Chun from Sifu Chan Wan Shun. Sifu Chan trained Yip Man for three years before he was retired. After that, Yip Man was trained by his older Kung Fu brother until he finally turned 16 and had to go to Hong Kong for his school. At that time, Yip Man was being trained in Hong Kong by Lang Bik, who was the son of Yip Man's teacher's teacher. At the age of 24, Yip Man returned to Foshan and became a police officer. At that time, he was privately teaching Wing Chun to family and friends. Later, when the Chinese Communist Party took political power in Hong Kong, Yip Man moved there to teach Wing Chun professionally. He opened the first professional Wing Chun school in Hong Kong. The first time was very difficult for Yip Man because his students left school after one or two months. But Yip Man believed in himself and what he was doing and continued to teach until a handful of students had reached advanced status in Wing Chun. The advanced students were called Lan Shang, Lok Yu and Chu Shang Ten. These three students paved the way for new good students. Shortly thereafter, Bruce Lee came on the boat. Yip Man's most famous student was Bruce Lee. In 1954, Bruce Lee learned Wing Chun for nearly four years before he had to leave Hong Kong with 18 years. Because he had often fights with criminal gang members on the streets of Hong Kong or on his rooftops. Later in America, Bruce Lee developed his own combat system, Jeet Kune Do, which is largely based on Wing Chun's principles. But Bruce Lee's films made the self-defense style Wing Chun world famous. 